actually started off again continuing with our student awareness week. A uh, couple more guys to highlight. Uh, first guy I'd like to highlight is Soma Vanuku, um, a guy who's unbelievable player for us as we all well know tremendous on special teams very active probably has a future in the National Football League um, really cool to see Soma did an internship this summer uh, with Rick Caruso obviously in development the guy who basically built the Grove and is doing a bunch of cool stuff with our new um, University Village and so a great experience for Soma I think opened his eyes to what life after football can be for him uh, which is great uh, another guy I'd like to highlight is David Melstrom a young man who's earned his degree in business now but took some time you know we were in training camp and he's still in summer school and we get through practice and meetings and most guys are exhausted going to bed he's back in Doheny library studying trying to finish up papers and whatnot staying up till midnight almost one in the morning and then getting back up and working in the morning so really for our guys, what I, what I think is great is they, they do a unique job of balancing their academics and their athletics. And we all see guys running off the field at the end of practice, racing to class. So uh, we've just got a really good culture on our team right now, one that's accountable to themselves, but accountable to their teammates to do the right things. Uh, and so we're very appreciative of that and the work that they're doing in the classroom. So um, that's kind of to touch on that. As far as the game goes, um, Keyvon will be a game time decision. Um, he's really our only injury bug guy. That way Lamar is cleared, ready to go. Um, I thought uh, the guys were focused again today, really attentive to the details, um, which is vitally important on a Thursday for us. It's, it's doing all the little things right, knowing all the proper adjustments that need to be made in all three phases. So um, I'm, I feel good about where we're at mentally and physically. And uh, now we got the next 48 hours to, to basically leave no stone unturned and make sure we're ready to go. So Steven Mitchell is second on the team in receptions. He has a touchdown, but we haven't seen the, the big plays yet that we've seen out of him in practice. What do you think it's going to take for that to happen? It's a long season. We've only played two games, so he's got plenty of time. He's, got, he's going to have plenty of opportunities to show what he can do. Well, Stanford's had a lot of turnover on defense, but when you look at them on film, do they look more or less the same as what you've seen in yeah, the they're past? They're the same. They're a really well-coached team. You know, They're very disciplined. Um, they don't give up big plays. Very rarely are they out of their assignment or, or or not correct in their alignments. Um, they, they play really well together. Um, you know, the, the, the DBs keep the ball in front of them. They all tackle well, they play hard, they run to the football, and that's a, that's a sign of a good defense. And they've, they've developed that culture over the years, and, and now the new guys that come in, they only know one way to play, and that's the way they've been playing. What is the, uh, what's the status of Achille Ross as far as playing this year or redshirting? Or so far he's redshirting. What do you envision for him as far as his position or his He's future playing here? safety for us right now. Um, John Houston Jr., is he kind of also in that? Yeah, right now. Yeah, we'll see how they develop as we keep moving forward, but as of right now, that's what they're doing. He's playing Sam linebacker for us. What um, do you hope to see from Lamar Dawson? Good football. <laughs> I mean, you what, know, what has he shown you in practice? He hasn't really had uh, an opportunity yeah, to you know, play he hasn't, the game for He you. hasn't played for a little while, but Lamar's a heady player, savvy. He's, he's played a lot of football in his career. He just hasn't played a lot for us. But, you know, we've seen him enough in practice. He's a savvy player. He's got a good feel. He's kind of slippery, getting off blocks, making plays. And so um, I think he and Cam will be a nice complement to one another. What would you say is a key in instilling confidence in your players, but not overconfidence? Oh, we're ready to play. We're ready to play. One more. Well, you always talk about how uh, you know, it's a faceless opponent. You prepare the same each and every week. Do you, do you feel like anything is going to be different because it's Stanford, because it's a Pac-12 team? If I did, then I wouldn't be practicing what I'm preaching. You, you got to believe in what you preach, and you got to believe in what you're telling your players. We shouldn't gauge our our opponent shouldn't dictate to us how we prepare or how focused we are. We should do it because we get to put on our helmet every Saturday and we take pride in doing that. Okay. All right, guys. All right, thank you.